Yo, guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the Straight Talk podcast. What is happening? Welcome back, guys. So, as we all know, last night, um, I thought it were actually going to be like early in the morning, but it weren't. It were, what time did it? Start? It were about 11, about 12 ish, weren't it? I'm think. not sure what time it were. Um, but yeah, obviously, we saw that Francis Ngannou and Tyson Fury boxed in the ring in Saudi Arabia for Riyadh season. Crazy, uh, bro. Yeah, crazy. Uh, I mean, first reactions off at fight. I mean, can we just give a round of applause uh, for Francis Ngannou for even getting a split decision yeah. against the heavyweight champion? You know, this guy's supposed to be the best. He's the best of our generation, but some say he's the best of all time. Yeah. So for Francis Ngannou for his first ever fight, bro, in the boxing ring to go split decision and knock him down. That is just crazy, I think. It were awesome, bro. Really good to see. I think there's two winners out of this fight, which is the the uh, the person who got announced as the winner, Tyson Fury, and most importantly, Francis Ngarno as well, because there's even some yeah. debate of whether uh, he should have won it or not, as there is always when you mm. watch a boxing like, fight. Like, like we have with the KSI, Tommy Fury. Yeah, there's, all, there's always that discussion, unless it's a clear KO or something like that, or a clear domination. But, um, yeah, it did really well. Like, it's crazy. First first fight ever. And, <clears throat> like, you know, he's up there with world champion, like you said. Um, oh, man, it was an enjoyable fight. It, it Really was, enjoyable, yeah. It, it was good to see him in ring. It was good to see Fury actually a bit, like, you know, thinking that he's got to get his head down yeah, here yeah. and actually get into the fight properly. I think because... Fury knew after that knockdown that he was like, Ray, I've really got to switch on here because I think, he came out expecting to fight someone who's never boxed before. Yeah. But Francis had a really good game plan and played it out really well. I mean, so props to Mike Tyson as well. Trained him up really well. And first time Tyson's trained someone yeah, as well. These are all first-timers. So it, it was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Think of how many, how many heavyweight champions or heavyweight boxers in division Francis Ngannou could actually win and destroy. How many heavyweight boxers in the division could go toe to toe ten rounds with Tyson Fury and just barely lose on a split decision yeah. from one card, which were fifty five to fifty four, I think. Don't fact check me on that. I'm just a rough guess from what I remember yesterday. But that is crazy. So if I were Franz Sangoni, what I'd do now is I'd go on and rematch him for his belts. Or I would. I'd, if, I'd ask for a rematch Fury straight wants, away, man. If Fury wants it. Yeah, that's true. If Fury that's wants the problem, it. Isn't it. Does Fury want the rematch now? Does he want to risk? Knows? Does he want to put all? In fact, he has got Usyk next. He oh. has got. Yeah, he, he has got uh, Usyk next. Yeah, um, but I tell you, who's probably looking at this, thinking that they want to, they want to bash at Tyson Fury. I think AJ is definitely now in that position where he's he's looking at yeah that definitely. fight, thinking you know what, it's I, very I, possible. I, I, it's possible I could beat Tyson Fury like. And if it, if that had happened to AJ, where you know his last opponent, uh, uh, the big Finnish guy, if he'd have knocked AJ down, then AJ got the win towards the end, like Fury did. I think there'd be a lot more backlash to it as well. Well, Eddie Hearn has had something to say about this. Um, he has said that AJ would end Fury's career. Yeah. Uh, in I think it was like he said he beat him in six rounds. And he said he'd beat Ingarno in three rounds. So I think Eddie Hearn's, you know, edging towards a Fury fight or even an Ingarno fight. Yeah. You know, I think everyone was so impressed with how Ingarno boxed. They're trying to, like, say that Fury is not as good as he, he is. You know, it's like he's kind of took the limelight away from Fury as being this heavyweight but boxer as, as and John, brought it to Ingarno. As John Fury did say, though, and Tommy Fury, like, that is what makes champion that they get knocked down Definitely. and they get up Definitely. and they continue winning fight as Tyson Fury. You know, dominating it. it. Yeah, absolutely, man. Dominating in later rounds and got into swinger it. And, you know, maybe Tyson Fury is thinking, well, if we do have rematch, I, I, I said it before, he might not want it, but he might want it thinking, yeah, I know what to do now to, you know, to easily win the fight, as we thought that was going to happen mm. in the earlier rounds, but it didn't really. Well, I think my real opinion on the fight, I mean, I, I seen a few TikToks yesterday uh, and I obviously saw that a lot of people thought that uh, Ngannou were robbed. Um, but I did watch the entire fight. Maybe one round I didn't watch because I had a dodgy stream. So, um, my I, th I do think that Tyson Fury won the later rounds definitely from the fifth round or even the f even the fourth round. Uh, he just outboxed him, used his jab. Uh, Ngannou caught him with a few nice shots. So it's an yeah, opt him down, scored a, a eight to ten round. 
He um, caught him with a few later on, yeah, though, as well, which did. were, you know. But we've got to give props to Tyson again. I mean, after that knockdown, dance around him like, like, as well as he could anyway. He didn't properly dance around him, but, you know, he, he did in a, in a sense. Yeah. Because he won't rest at rounds, yeah. I think, anyway. So, I mean, if I think what happened, I think a knockdown can do two, th- two things to a fighter. It can either like keep them switched on. They mm. can still stick to game plan or they can um, knock them down and then be like, right, I'm just going to go for a knockout and I've knocked yeah. him down. And it can switch them off and take them away from the game plan. And that's what I think happened to Francis Ngannou, which is the reason why I think he lost. Because the, the game plan was working perfectly for three rounds, as we all saw. And then he got the knockdown, which personally I think Turned the fight around completely in favour of Tommy uh, Tyson Fury. Yeah. Um. Big, just purely because he knocked Francis Ngannou off his game plan, and I don't. I'm sure you can agree with me, bro. I, I can't see why anyone wouldn't agree. You know, I mean, everyone has different opinions, but I just thought it was so clear to see. Yeah. And it, it just again, man, like it, the, this were a totally different fight than the McGregor and Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather, yeah. Uh, totally different fight. Um, I think Floyd Mayweather had that in control mm. from the get, from out of gate. Yeah. Um, and so it makes, it just puts us more belief in him, Francis, and he's probably happy. He's not happy that he didn't get the win, probably, but he's mm. probably still happy with how he did and, you know, the result and stuff. Not not the result, but, you know, how, how things have worked out if he would have lost. Um, and I can't wait to see what's next. Mm. The question is now, will this... Mm. Is is this now the road that Francis Ngannou is going to embark on? Is he going down the heavyweight division route? Is he wanting to challenge other fighters, as he has been saying? What do you think is going to happen? Is he going to go back to that cage? He's probably thinking, you know, what? actually, no. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm probably thinking it's a better payday in boxing, mm. less to learn. Um, is he going to stay in lane, or is he going to? Get, Some people get back might think this is a crazy opinion, but I'm going to say it think he'd be more successful in the boxing world than he would the MMA world. I know he did win uh champ he were the heavyweight champion in, in MMA, but I I think that if he came to the boxing world and he got put up against every single heavyweight fighter that's, you know, on the top level. Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua, Usyk, obviously just fought Fury, but um I think he'd he'd win quite a few. I feel like he'd beat Wilder. I, I think he like would, I, but he were the champion in the... He were the champion in MMA, but in I don't MMA. feel like he could become the champion in boxing as well. I, he'll be one of us for the season, you know? Well, I know, and he's, like I said, it's his first fight, so... <clears> you know. Imagine, and he's only been training for how long? If he gets more training, more experience, who knows? Yeah. This guy could... He's, we've never seen it before. We've never seen someone... We've seen MMA fighters come to the... Misfits boxing world, yeah. but the Misfits boxing world and the world champion world is two completely different yeah. things, and there's a massive gap in skill level and stuff like that. So it's I, we've never seen someone from a different combat sport come on the first fight to the heavyweight division, challenging the best fighter in our generation in the world currently, and barely lose by a split decision. I think it's absolutely incredible achievement. And he should definitely continue to box. Yeah, it's exciting to see what what's coming next in his future. Um, for Fury, it's Usyk. For Angarnu, who knows? Who knows? Let us know what you guys thought of this in the comments down below. Who do you think won the fight? Do you think that you know Francis Angarnu winning that ten uh, eight round with that knockdown? Do you think that changed the fight around? Um, and yeah, just let us know what you think. Did we're John Fury looking like an idiot again? Yeah, we're we gonna cover does. that. So watch the next videos because we're gonna um, comment on you know the reactions of John Fury and Tommy Fury and stuff like that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. See you Bye-bye. later.